Okay, so we've sent in the wire and we are on to our next, what's the next step? Inspections. We do recommend you do full inspections on properties depending on the year of the home, things like that. It is not a requirement. You do not have to do inspections. The lender does not require it. If you're buying a home cash, it does not require it. However, we do recommend it 120% because it has saved a lot of buyers from investing in a home that they're not willing to fix. And we have found things, um, the inspectors have found things that the buyers are not willing to buy the home as is. So please, even if you have an as is contract, if it, even if it's not as is, it does not matter. You are entitled as long as the contract says you are to do a full inspection. Therefore, on the contract, sometimes it says seven days, 10 days, 15 days. These are not business days. These are calendar days. We have to make sure we order right away the inspections that you interest that you're interested in so for example the full inspection will check to everything we'll check the roof we'll check the attic we'll check plumbing electrical they'll check the whole entire house for any damage the point of that inspection is just to tell you the buyer what the house has what issues it has i mean they go as far as looking at little cracks that the property has and as deep as hey listen there this electrical box looks like it might have issues you know, follow up with a licensed electrician. It's not their job to fix anything. They're just there to tell you what they recommend you, they fix. Some things they recommend, which is like an action list. And some things are just like, hey, this is there, just so you know, even a little crack on the floor or on the wall. So it is imperative that you do get a full inspection. We recommend it 120%. Okay, um, you can just get your inspector or we can recommend some inspectors as well. Now, uh, two inspections that we suggest as well, other than the full inspection, are the four point inspection and the wind mitigation inspection. Why? The four point inspection will go in depth if, and check the roof, electrical plumbing, and the AC. The wind mitigation will go in depth and check anything wind resistant. It, I mean, the name kind of gives you an idea of what it is. So, you know, they check the roof, the resistance of the roof in case of a hurricane, if you have impact windows, if you have impact doors, things like that, that the hurricane could affect. Now, these two inspections, if the home is older than 30 years old, are important. The, the four point mitigation, most insurance companies, if the home is 30 to 40 years older, they require a four point. Um, if it's not a new construction, even if the home is 10 years old, we still recommend it because you do tend to get discounts on your insurance for it. Now the wind mitigation is one of the inspections that you get the highest discount on. And like I said, it's just checking for the, the how resistant the home can be against wind in case of a hurricane. These two inspections when ordered with the full inspections are a lot less money than if they're ordered separately. You don't have to order them. You can order them later on, but for insurance purposes, it's a good idea to order them. I've seen customers with up to $1,500 of credits just because they got these things ordered. It's up to you, but I recommend it highly, highly, highly. So you can choose the inspection companies on your own. We have several that we can recommend as well that we're used to working with. It does not matter who goes as long as they're licensed inspectors. Usually we get the report within 24 to 48 hours after they've been to the property. We have to make sure if the contract says we have 15 days for the inspection that we get it done as soon as possible because if the roof is bad and we need estimates, we need to have enough time to do that. Once we do have that back, if you're like, you know what, the things on the inspection report are not a big deal, I do want to proceed with the sale. At that time, we proceed with the sale. If you would like to cancel, we can cancel. If you would like to negotiate and say, you know what, even though this is an as is contract, um, I didn't know, for example, that the roof was going to have to be changed next year. I would like at least a $5,000 credit for that, but I'll still buy the home as is. We can renegotiate terms at that time before the 15 days are up, okay? Or let's just say it's 15 days. Every contract is different. Sometimes it's seven, sometimes it's 10. But that is the time where we can renegotiate. The seller can accept that $5,000 credit, for example, or they can say, no, you know what? I'm not going to do 5,000, but I'll do 2,500. So at that time is when everyone renegotiates. We, if 
once we be, you know come into an agreement with okay yes we agree with that credit then we would have to do a new addendum have all the parties sign and then you'll get the credit at closing but it's very imperative that we get this done on time okay very very important now the next thing is if you're buying a home and you're financing with fha if your subject is on well and septic the lender will require something called a water test they go out and they test the water in the well and septic and make sure that it has no bacteria no e coli nothing that will harm you that test runs about 185 dollars give or take if it comes out positive and there's nothing there great if there if there it comes back with some bacteria that will need to be fixed and the inspector will have to go back out now these are different inspectors okay no, they don't the same inspector that does the full inspection and the four point and wind mitt does not do the water test um but if, if this is only if your property is being financed with fha loan and if it's on well on septic otherwise it, it's not required okay and that's an fha requirement it's not a lender requirement um so that's important for you to know too a lot of realtors don't tell their buyers that and then they they get you know this 200 or 400 dollar bill and they're like what is this <laughs> so it has to be done for for the loan to close it's fairly quickly normally the inspector doesn't even need to go inside with the other inspection they need to go inside and they're there for several hours at a time okay so that's the inspection process and then the next thing that we're going to be talking about is if your property is located in in hoa and you need to do an application that would be the next video if not you can skip that video <laughs> if it's not located in, in, a, in a hoa all right well thank you and i hope that this explained a little bit of the next process have a good day thank you for choosing us